Okay, uh, today I'm going to be installing, doing a mod on a Linksys WRT150 router. It's an in router. Um, they're supposed to have removable antennas, but the only way you can remove them is take the whole unit apart, and there's no way to attach an external antenna. Most modern routers, their antennas are going to be built inside. There's no, not going to be any way to uh, attach an external antenna of any kind without doing a modification. Um, I bought these off of eBay. It's a RPSMA to an RF uh, pigtail. And basically I'm going to be installing these on the back of this unit. So we can have uh, external antennas hook up uh, so we can have extended range on our property. Um, I'll show you how to do that here in a bit. Um, most of these can be found in any electronic stores. Uh, usually we carry them. I found these on eBay, like I said. Um, so we'll get down to it here in a bit. Okay, now I want to talk about uh, the tools you're going to need for this project. Uh, first of all, you're going to want a really good pair of dikes. Uh, a couple of different sizes would be good. Uh, we're going to have to uh, trim the end of this down here uh, to make it work. Um, some really good solder. You're going to want some 60-40 uh, blend is usually what I use. This is a, a tin and a lead mixture. Uh, this has uh, some rosin already in the core. Uh, if you don't have really good solder, you, you might I recommend might using uh, some flux to clean your solder joints. Um, Definitely going to need a couple small screwdrivers, different sizes. This unit is uh, snap together design, so you're going to have to kind of get in there, and I'll show you that here in a bit how to do that. Um, another thing, uh, once we do get it apart, you're going to need a Torx uh, bit, and this is a hollow Torx. It has it accepts uh, the new style Torx that you're using. Um, also, I want to talk about your soldering stations. Uh, if, you, if you're a homeowner and you don't have a really good solder station, I recommend uh, trying to get something similar to this. This is a basic unit. It's real low. We'll probably get something similar to this. It's a real low wattage. Uh, it can handle uh, just about any chore on a motherboard or you know just a regular board uh, without making the uh, circuits too hot uh, where they connect. Uh, whatever you do, do not use one of these big welders. This is over 150 watts. It will melt uh, all your, con you know, the solder points and all that. It just totally trash it. So you don't want to use one of these. Uh, you're gonna need a drill index. I uh, already know the size, but at least you know to figure out what you, what size you're gonna need in here. And that's. Uh, roughly a half inch uh, so what I'm gonna do is probably use uh, 9 uh, or two, uh, 29 uh, 64 to get started and then end it up with a half to uh, to make your hole back here big enough you gotta enlarge it all so um, that if you don't have that you can use uh, this burr grinder I use air uh, but you know if you got a Dremel tool or something similar that will work just fine alright now let's uh, get started here alright the first thing you want to do is you want to start out with a uh, pretty good uh, small size standard screwdriver uh, flip these antennas over like this you want to flip it over to the back and basically we're going to take this panel off right here uh, what you want to do is you're going to insert this screwdriver um, try to wedge it in right in here there's two little clips right here you're going to be pushing on those and uh, you can work it either angle you know but you're going to have to get in there to get the clips I've already had this unit apart uh, so I just kind of have it just sitting together so uh, you know so it, it'd be easier uh, to get apart to show you guys quicker uh, so basically you're going to push in you're gonna pry up, and it's gonna. You're gonna hear a lot, kind of a pop noise. 
so you'll you'll know that you have that released. Uh, you can see kind of up in here. I don't know. It's kind of dark, but there's your clip. I'll show you in a minute. Um, kind of walk it down a little bit. There's a ball, actually a ball joint back here. You want to get in there? You can just hear it snap. Uh, kind of be careful, you know, so you don't try to mark the unit up a lot. Uh, once you get that popped off. Uh, you can see these are just little ball snaps and they just snap into the into the board here uh, that's that front part I was talking about it's just a regular clip and you just kind of want to get in there and kind of you know pry it you know a little bit uh, don't force it because you can end up breaking that off uh, now once you have that off uh, you're gonna need a that hollow bit torques now there's four screws right here that holds the rest of it pretty much on. Uh, we're going to remove those. And if you don't have to use the uh, drill you can just it's a quarter inch drive so if you have a ratchet or whatever the same thing will work or even a, a hand grip alright now we gotta take these side panels off and it's the same thing on these these are just snapped together so I would probably recommend starting at the back and what you want to do is you just kinda want to wedge your uh, screwdriver in there it's got to be a real fine small standard tip but you just kind of you know walk it down the unit and you'll hear it's you know each time you do it will snap 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 but I've already had these apart so uh, but that's what you do for the sides uh, you just kind of get in there and you just kind of walk it all the way down and, and it's something you know it should just pop right out of there uh, same things on the front uh, of the unit um, like I said, you probably want to do it where it's not visible in case you do mark it. Uh, but it's all snaps snaps in there like that. So basically, uh, all those are pieces that are actually snapped. All right, now that I've taken these four screws out, the whole unit will just pop out like that. And you're looking at the board now. And uh, here's what we'll be working on: is these little. Uh, I gotta unsolder these and uh, we're going to remove these antennas actually if I, I already had this out uh, it sits in here it, so I'm going to show you why in a minute but uh, that's what uh, it, your light indicator is basically it tells you what's going on with the it just kind of snaps and it's got little clips so you just want to undo that because we're going to have to take the board out of this base to uh, make our oversize alright here we go um, we're gonna end up here's the leads for the antenna uh, there's a big solder joint that is your ground part of the antenna the smaller one uh, directly next to that is the uh, actual internal part of the wire that actually does your antenna uh, you have to un unsolder both of those spots right there uh, pretty much y'all probably know how to solder uh, I just recommend you know just kind of you, you heat it up and get it kind of warm uh, where you can see it's starting to smoke and kind of do both sides at the same time that way uh, once you get, do get both of them pretty heated uh, it should just pull straight you know just give it a little tug and it should pull straight away like that uh, you want to repeat that process on this next wire this is for the left channel uh, just undid the right one uh, you want to heat both of them kind of at the same time one one's the ground remember it's the bigger solder joint and the other one's the actual what's doing the signal so uh, there you go all right next we're going to remove the board from the uh, the complete you know on the base 
basically you just want to get in there with, you, with your uh, small little standard screwdriver and I'd recommend probably just kind of pulling up just a little bit right here kind of do the same thing walk down the board um, you're gonna want to do it mainly on the ends though yeah it's uh it's just kind of connected in into these little slots where the, where the screws go and uh, you just kind of walk it out of there and it just pulls right out and uh, on this particular board there ain't too many solder joints on the back so we're, you know you're pretty much just working right here um, where you're going to be resoldering your uh, antenna leads uh, once you have this out, just uh, safely put it aside. You, uh, you know where it's, you know nothing's going to hit it or knock on it. Uh, you don't want to damage that board. Uh, now we're just looking at the plastic base. Here's your antennas. Now this is uh, where they where they say it's removable. Uh, they they say in this unit these antennas are removable, but and they are. But you have to get this far into it. Uh, I don't know why they say that, but that's just what they, you know, how, how they uh, set it on their specs list, you know. So basically, you want to get in here with a good pair of uh, needle nose, and it's held in by four little clips right here. Um, you want to, you know, kind of walk it and grab it on, on both ends right here. Uh, just kind of push it in, and you have to kind of walk it around, but it eventually will snap out of there and uh, we'll do that right here and there it goes it just uh, pulled right out so this is what we're replacing and um, you want to do the same thing on the other side uh, once you get it get it that far all right on this next part I went ahead and put the board back in there uh, just to show you, I'm going to have some clearance issues. Uh, I haven't yet to drill this, but I'm noticing already that it's going to, on this particular style that I bought, it's got this a lot of room right there. Uh, it looks like it will not clear the board. So what I'm going to end up doing is I got a bench grinder, and I'm going to grind that down. Uh, so I'll get some better clearance uh, as you can see uh, how this is going to fit in there kind of like that that it's not going to clear all the way so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to have to trim off you know trim some of this off right here you can either do that with a regular rasp uh, file I'm going to use a bench grinder Okay, we're here at the bench grinder. Uh, we're going to be removing a little bit of this metal. It's, I, I can already see that it's going to kind of get in a bind on that board. So, uh, what you want to do is you just want to grind, you know, just enough down. I, I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to take off a little bit here. So, let me go ahead and do that. Okay. All right, I believe that will work. You can kind of see, kind of hard to see in the light, but uh, I took off a pretty good amount. I think that was going to work. If you have to come back, uh, you know, it's just going to have to. You're gonna have to get enough clearance on it basically um, be real careful not to get into these threads uh, with the grinder um, you're gonna have to screw this to the base and if you wreck those threads uh, you'll have to get another pigtail basically uh, repeat the process on the other one uh, do the same thing 
uh, just try to get it uh, as far down as you can at least for this style uh, I'm, I'm having to do this uh, modification to these leads so uh, if you have a different style if you're using the uh, SM uh, R's then you won't have a problem because uh, you know it's just you, you're gonna have plenty of room Alright, just back from doing the mock-up on the uh, grinder there. Um, still doing a little modifications here with these ends. We had to plug them in a certain way. Um, you got to have enough clearance on the bottom and plus the sides right here. If you can see kind of that going in. Um, I'm going to drill this out and make sure and double check, but I think I got it right now. As far as I can tell, uh, these are all going to be a half inch this is actually a half inch here so we might have to trim this down later on uh, we're just going to have to see when we get there all right for this next part i'm going to be doing the drilling and the uh, fitting of the rf connectors and the best i can come up with is it <clears throat> like we talked about before it's the 2964 drill bit on the uh, index scale here and I go go with that because right down you, know, you look down the center it's about that size if you're looking at this hole so. anyway yeah what you do is basically I'd, I'd start out with that and just give it to uh, do it by hand right now just kind of get it started um, the plastic sometimes is real brittle so you don't want to end up trying to break it or anything. Uh, it's always a good idea to kind of uh, start out, you know, in case there's any birds or anything, it's almost to really catch the drill bit if you use a, a real powerful, you know, like 18 volt drill or, or higher. So I got some material removed. Uh, I think it's enough for this size. If you think it's too big, always do a step down. Um, you can always do that option. Uh, if you have a Dremel tool, you can get in there and do a Dremel tool. Uh, whatever you have to do to make this connector fit inside there. And uh, it's just up to you how you want to do it. All right, I've almost completed this uh, left side here with the uh, half inch drill bit. And it successfully went through it. Uh, we'll now accept our adapters, which will slide straight, straight around and through there. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do the other side real quick. It's the best way I figured out. You're gonna you're gonna finish off at the half inch, but uh, what you want to do, basically, if you have a nice metal surface, I don't know, this is a galvanized just a plate of steel that uh, little sheet that we put there. Um, I suggest something like that. I said uh, 29 and 64 before. Uh, that's a, that's a good medium bit. <clears throat> now. I would definitely go with the 2764 on this particular router. It's just a little bit smaller of a drill bit to, uh, to help you punch through. Alright, we're going to do that right now. And basically you just kind of hold it with the flat palm of your hand, but you want to try to get the drill bit and what you're drilling, which is this uh, body pretty level I think really. so that's not too bad right there it just drills right in pretty good um, that's just a lower drill bit that I used is the uh, 2764 uh, I'm going to go up uh, a couple whole steps here it's a 2964 and just make sure it's tight on your chuck same thing hold the body and the drill uh, try to hold it at the same level if you can and just watch your hands and all that uh, start out real slow on the speed speed it up until it goes through all right 
right it punched through and it's the same thing you just kind of work your way on up uh, pretty much from here you can you can go with a half inch drill bit if needed if you're in a real big hurry um, I like to take things kind of slow uh, that because just the, making sure you're not breaking anything uh, when I uh, drill this one out it it cracks it is what happens but what I'm gonna do when I come back is that you can just use a really good sharp uh, pocket knife and it, you'll be able to clean all that up it's no problem so I'm just going straight ahead right now with the half inch and this is the uh, maximum diameter for the fittings we're putting in and see how it just grabs it immediately and back it on out and you can repeat that a couple times if needed I I wouldn't do it too much uh, I'm gonna just give another little shot but remember just to start real slow on the drill bit just don't hammer down most drill bits they go slow or you can you can you can really get up in the RPMs um, with this type of plastic I would I would just be just, just pretty careful that's all I'm saying there and uh, all you have to do from here is just trim these off it's probably a standard pocket knife if you want yeah uh, you can use a rasp uh, file and just be gentle and just you know slowly scrape it away um, so you can already see it's kind of cracked it you know it did heat up um, as we were drilling it so the plastic is kind of weak. You just got to be real careful as you work it. And if you have a really, really sharp knife, you just kind of just kind of work all the way around. Like you're kind of peeling uh, an orange or, you know, whatever. Uh, it works kind of the same principle. You just kind of walk, walk the knife around.